Okay, folks, it's Monday afternoon, the 23rd. We're right here about 1.30 p.m., and you're watching several contracted heavy pieces of equipment working in coordination with the heavy equipment bosses, their managers from the fire. So that's often smoke jumpers or hot shots or engine bosses who have the qualifications to oversee these private contract operators. And what they're doing is they're processing the logs into a couple different piles. One, the main thing they're trying to do is get the commercially salvageable log out there. See that dangle head right there? Dangle head is picking up trees, looking at mechanically cutting them and getting all the limbs off them to length. And then you've got the skidder that's dragging them over there and around and decking them. And you also have another piece of equipment that's trying to drag out the rotten stuff from these piles. These piles were dragged here. This is what was the trees that were hastily cut during fire suppression when the fire was moving very quickly towards the red feather crystal area here. And they wanted to make sure that they had got as many opportunities to catch the fire as they could depending on which direction it went. Of course, these fuels have been super dry all summer and the fire spread was incredibly fast. There's that dangle head in there. Let's zoom in. Gonna pick up a, oh yeah, a couple logs there. That's a very sophisticated piece of equipment. It's a heated cab there, and the operator has a lot of leeway to get these trees. There you go, drag it right through. It processes them right to length, takes off all the branches, and bang. Then this guy's coming in to look for the slash or the debris. And we talked to one of the Forest Service Resource Advisors who manages some of the timber sales and she did mention to the folks who had questions about big piles of wood chips and why sometimes all these limbs aren't chipped. A couple reasons. One, it's so dry up here in the high country that it takes many, 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 many years for let's say six to eight inches of wood chips to decompose. And in the meantime, the ground underneath it's sterile. And then it's also a fuel source. And just because it's chipped wood doesn't mean it won't burn. And so oftentimes uh, what they'll do is separate out the decayed or uh, sort of rotten wood and they'll get that into a slash pile and then that can be effectively burned here in the winter under controlled situation where it can spread. So quite the operation here. This is spread all over the place. The division supervisor for this whole area did want us to mention Dead Man Road 86 is closed. There's a lot of big equipment like this and even the logging truck soon coming in uh, to pick it all up once the sales are complete. And so this is an area where we really are requesting the public to mind the closure of the 86 road. Normally it'd be closed for the winter, uh, but the snow levels are so low. So let's get in a little bit closer so you can see how this other piece of equipment here is operating. That's the sound of the dangle head cut the length. The dangle head passes it off to the other lift that puts it on the stack just right. Here we go, let's get a look at this. So you can see right there, it's got a chainsaw built right in and then it can pull it right through, take all those branches off, and then it's got a sophisticated system that knows how long that is and can cut it to commercial length. Meanwhile, the other piece of equipment, boom, increases the efficiency by stacking it. So clearly these operators are very talented. They're able to go through a lot, but there's a lot to do. This will be going on into December. There's areas north of here, west of here, south of here, all over the place that are getting the same treatment. And it's just a lot of country. The division supervisors, task force leaders, and safety officers do patrol this area. They check in with the heavy equipment bosses, and here comes some right now coming down the road and we'll get back to where you can see how this dangle head is going to get through this tree system and process right there with the chainsaw cut that gets the tree dropped gets it dangled through and then gets it out on the deck and that goes on the days are shorter and they're working hard but they'll be able to get a lot done each day especially if it doesn't keep snowing so again be careful Please don't enter the 86 Dead Man Road. And this is why the forest is closed in this area. If it's your favorite area to hunt, all these roads are needed by the suppression repair resources here. 
and so having a mix of hunters just does not work. So it's not safe. And these folks deserve the ability to move around, move their equipment around, and work safely so they can get home to their families too.